Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, now, protests are still okay. happening uh, across Nigeria, particularly major cities like Lagos and Abuja. Why is it so, yeah. in spite of the IGP's uh, announcement that SARS has been disbanded? Why are these protests still ongoing? Yeah. I can hear more clearly now. Yeah. Uh, much more of the um, chant, chant from people okay. presently. Um, why are I'm, not, these I'm not hearing you clearly. Why are these protests still ongoing? Okay, okay. Well, the reason why these protests are still ongoing is the fact that we have some demands that have not been met from the IGP, and those are the things that we are trying to put across to them. That's why we have been demanding the IGP to come meet us and address us by himself. And we have put these demands into um, nine my bullet points that we want them to address. That, and that's why these protests are still going on. Now, uh, if, if you I'm... don't mind, I would like to highlight them. Yeah, please uh, do so uh, if you can. Okay, we have nine, nine points, actually, that we want to be addressed ASAP. Which, number one, is the, dissol the dissolution of SARS must and should be announced by the president. That's number one. We want Mr. President to um, come out on national TV and address this matter. Number two, the immediate release of all protesters along with their personal effects. Yeah, their personal items, phones, power bands, gadgets, their bags and everything. Number three, justice for all that have lost their loved ones to start by holding all staff and police officers involved accountable under the law and payment of affected compensation to affected families. Number four, regular and random mental, psychological and job evaluation of police officers, which is very, very important. Unreserved and genuine apologies from the president and the IG of police for the dehumanization and violations of the human rights of all protesters on live TV. Number six, review of police welfare for currently serving as past police officers. Number seven, setting up an independent body to oversee the investigation and prosecution of all reports of police misconduct. Number eight, we demand for legislation enabling state to create state and community police for each of the states. And number nine, the Liberian police force must maintain an army law to keep account of every place used by all officers. That's all we want. Thank you very much, Olumide Otitoju. We'll keep uh, track with the protest and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much for talking to us on New Central.